I saw a video on TikTok that just made me say, oh my gosh, like what a horrible thing to say out loud. And look, I'm a dark humor kind of girly. I've said some pretty salacious things on the internet. I've been clipped out of context that even makes me sound worse than I even am. But this isn't even clipped out of context. This is like with their full chest from my understanding. And the clip has gone viral. And I hear they're doubling down on their stance. So this is a podcast called The Israeli Boys. I'm sorry, two, I'm sorry, that's not what it's called. It's called Two Nice Jewish Boys. My bad. Two Nice Jewish Boys. And this is a clip from their podcast. We're going to let Hassan introduce it and then we'll we'll watch the clip because it's not very long. So we're not going to watch the whole Hassan video. Um, but okay, check this out. This is another thing that I was going to talk about. This is Israel's longest running English podcast, Two Nice Jewish Boys. Hosts Neor Menninger and Eitan Weinstein call for wiping out every single Palestinian in Gaza. Radio Rwanda in full effect here. Let's take a look at what the, the, the two nice Jewish boys pod had to say about Gaza. If you gave me a button to just erase Gaza, every single living being in Gaza would no longer be living tomorrow. I would press it in a second. That's just, I think, I mean, I, I think most Israelis. If that's agree. the choice. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. These guys aren't nice, nor are they boys, man. What the f This is too shitty elderly. Okay, and I'm even, I'm even trying to be like, my brain was like, no, they must have meant, they must have meant like something else. I don't know what they could have meant, but I was like, well, maybe they didn't mean, maybe they just meant <laughs> that nobody ever existed. Like, <laughs> I was like, they wouldn't say this out loud. Like, this is a crazy thought to have for anybody to have. Like, this is just a crazy thought. You know, this is just like a super violent thought. But I was like, no, they must. I was like doing all these like mind games with myself. Like, they must mean something different. But then they doubled down. Early Jewish gentleman podcast. Where where are the boys? Are the boys in the room with us? I feel like once you reach 35, you're no longer a boy. You're a True. man. Okay. Oh, even if it's not like right now. Yeah, no. I would press it right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and same with the territories. I would press it right now. Mm -hmm. no he said, same with the territories. Are they literally saying they want everyone who's alive to not be alive? Or are they saying if I could press a button and no one ever existed in Gaza? Like, sir. No choice. No, you know, Shalon is safe at home. God willing, I don't know. I haven't spoken to her in like an hour. No, I'm saying for the chance. Yeah. Yeah. I would press it right now. Give me that button. I'd press it right now. There you go. <laughs> and I think most Israelis would. Yeah. Most Jewish they wouldn't, Israelis. They wouldn't post, they wouldn't talk about it like I am. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't post, they wouldn't say I pressed it. Yeah. But they would They press don't it. have balls of steel like you. They would, <laughs> but they would press it, right? Like if they were in a yeah. closet alone, they would. I don't understand why my dude is in um, saying this thing that we all know very openly, not even thinking about like other people might hear this and go, damn, dog, you're a genocidal piece of shit like literally what are they thinking like i i cannot fathom why they feel so confident saying something like that on a podcast like again okay i think everyone on the internet i mean hassan and i are both guilty of saying very hyperbolic shit on the internet but this feels like it's coming from an incredibly bitter place even if I've heard Palestinians or Israelis say, like, I want them all dead, it's usually from a very sad and, like, specific mourning place. This feels very strange to just be so confident and then to double down and say, like, no one would say this and I have the balls to say it. And, yeah, I think – but then I got confused because he mentioned, a, I guess, a family member saying, like, if they were safe and I haven't talked to them in an hour, so who knows if they're safe. I'm – you know, it's kind of like a weird where they're what a weird st like what a weird thing to say out loud. What an ugly thing to say out loud. I think it's just really ugly and a very like like if this was a person in my life, this would be the this would be too much. This would be the line. I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. Like, no, no. They wouldn't even hesitate. Mm -hmm. Someone came to them and Adar said, no one will know. You press this. All the Palestinians are gone. All the Palestinians are gone, he said. He said, if someone came to you and handed you a button and you could press it and all the Palestinians disappear, would you press it? This, this is the most inhumane, 
horrible thing I've ever heard somebody say out loud. Like not literally the worst, but like this is this is very bad. Like this is top top five contenders for worst things I've ever heard people say out loud. Like this is a very just. I mean, it's so human because humans just destroy each other, but it's so gross. You'd be like, hey, <laughs> is there another one? <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. What? They're doing it right now. He's just saying that he's on board with it. Do you think Hamas would if the other way were around? Maybe. But do you understand the difference in the way that this attitude is rep What What does that commenter even mean? Do you think Hamas would do the same thing if it was the other way around? It, does it does it matter? Isn't it bad? No matter who does, isn't it bad either way? Like what? What does it matter if Hamas would destroy the world or if Israelis would destroy the world? It's still bad. Like it doesn't matter who's doing it. The idea is that one human being thinks I have the right to think it is moral and good to wipe out a whole population of people simply because of where or where they were born or what they look like or or. That's the issue. The issue is that people think you literally deserve to live or not based off your genetic, like genetic line. That's the insanity, the insanity. But then at the same time, it's like so human because like we're all these like a little evolved animals on a planet. But of course, there's the religious part of it, too, that also comes into play. Like some of these religious groups literally think they're like chosen by God, like they're God's people. Right. So, you know, it's so wonderful, this thing called evolution that has led us to creating all of these mechanisms and tools to sort of survive in the world and interact with other people. And we did this panel the other day. If you guys haven't seen it, it was really good. And we were all arguing about whether or not like humans are outside of nature or not. And I think obviously we're just a part of nature, but that's the irony is if you recognize you're a part of nature, like then, if, and if, then you say you're a smart and a capable person, but then you still say this is okay to say, or genocide in any way is okay. Or like, I know people have tried to clip me out of context and obviously those are haters. Like any reasonable person knows I am never advocating for like getting rid of any part of the population just because of the way they were born, right? That's nothing, I would never say that. I would never advocate for that, right? That's a horrible position to take in the world. But that's the thing. It's very rare for a person to have this position because it is so, it's a very, what's the word guys? What kind of a human, what category of person genuinely thinks because of how somebody is born, this is very key, not because of some, what somebody did. Lots of people are pro death penalty for people who that like assault children and all these things. Like it's not, that's something you did in the, that's, that's a moral good debate. We could have at a different time, but what category of person is literally willing to say because of the way you were born simply for existing as a baby. Okay, because that's what you're saying. You deserve to die. And then they're on this podcast that's just sitting here and airing. And like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, like I'm shook. Now, apparently, okay, let me see if Hassan covers it really fast. Hold on. Represented because Hamas isn't doing that right now. Israel is. Israel is literally doing that right now. I see your podcast has been running since 2016. Okay. Available data is not kind. Most of your videos get under 500 views and you don't even chart on Israel's podcast. So their podcast is really, really tiny. They have like less than 8,000 subscribers. They get almost no views. But apparently they, they, um, I, okay. So then my brain was like, well, what if this is like clickbait, right? What if it's like, but then it, what a thing to clickbait, like what a thing to be known for. Even if you're trying to, even if you're trying to go viral, like why are you, why is this the thing you're choosing to go viral on, right? has rankings by all metrics a failure i recommend taking a gary v course or getting a hair a hair transplant in turkey lol why would we be okay there's a part where netanyahu apparently one of them used to work with him or is associated with him so they're not just like guys on youtube right they're not just guys on youtube right okay what are you guys saying you're saying indoctrination pure indoctrination or an extremist at minimum oh i i don't think you could I mean, they're obviously what i would call an extremist right isn't that wouldn't it i mean you would have to quite literally again to advocate advocate for the destruction of a person because of the way they were born simply for being born that's pretty crazy right pretty crazy uh, let's see. Cam says, are they forgetting how God never gave up on the Israeli, Israeli, Israel, Israelites? Oh my God, Bernie, words. Is Israelites? Guys, I'm, it's, forgive me. Even after they f***ed up so many times, I mean, you know, 
Um, man, that's crazy. The reality, let's see. Uh, the reality is a lot of people, including their president, share the sentiment and they're not really hiding it. Well, I think that's the fear a lot of people had initially when this conflict arose to the level it is. And I think we can all agree that from a humanitarian perspective, it's really inhumane what Israel is doing doing to Palestine. I understand from a political perspective why people make decisions, but I think it's pretty darn cruel, right? Thank you. Israelite, Israelites. Israelites. Thank you. Welcome to my live stream <laughs> where we pronounce words. Um, let's see. The way they rationalize it by viewing Palestinian culture as inferior and dangerous equal to humanization. I don't really like the com um, comparison, but arguably how the Nazis thought of their victims. Well, I mean, I, I mean, I, you know, I know everybody always says like Hitler, but it, I've never heard something more Nazi and like, I mean, obviously there's all these white supremacists everywhere, but uh, to, to hear it come from an Israeli or like a Jewish person and I'm looking at them like, look in the mirror. <laughs> like, What are you doing? I Humans are going to human. And this is exactly why I think my theory or at least my contribution to this thought process about bubbles and philosophy and understanding and what does it mean to be a person? We repeat history. It is so clear we are always in cycles and it doesn't mean that the cycles aren't different or unique. It just means like they, they're they basically just human every time. The fact that a Jewish person or Israeli person could talk about genociding Palestinians and then have the audacity to complain that their own population was, was genocided. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, what are you talking about? You should be the first person who's anti-genocide. I like that's the thing that feels so strange to me. And I'm like, I don't can't tell if you're just bitter or if you're that traumatized or like we need to just deconstruct all of this trauma. But man, humans are really going to human, huh? And this is why I say this is why I say it's hard to be a community member. When you go to the community meeting and then one day somebody says, you know what? What if we just genocide these people? You know, today I was having a monologue with myself as one does while I was making the gumbo I was making today. And I was thinking how to explain to religious people with all peace and love that there is a world where like LGBT people and religious people get to live together, but it's not the world they want for everybody else. And they are the ones who are literally saying it's either us or you. And I'm saying, okay. And then I was thinking, how do I explain to conservatives that they want to legalize or illegalize sin, that they want to regulate via the government sin? Like, how do I explain to conservatives that when you vote anti or anti-gay or anti-LGBT or anti-drugs or anti, you are saying to the government, you are allowed to dictate what, what, how a person should have a relationship with their own sin, because that's a sin to those people, right? So that bubble views it as a sin and they're thinking, okay, I want little to no government, allegedly, but I am so sure that the government should regulate people based off of their sin. <sighs> These are the conversations I have with myself out loud all day. I'm like, what if I said this? And like, what if they said this? And then I said this, <laughs> and then they said this. And I'm just sitting here like, oh my God, humans really are just gonna human. It's like with peace and love, I love everybody so much, but bro, ma'am, sir, please, okay? Yes, it's chat says it's the ultimate eye for an eye, which is why I say when they go low, you go high. Okay, look, going high doesn't mean you do not have self-defense, right? Going high doesn't mean you're not allowed to like beat a war or do right by your people. Going high is about being respectful through the process and as dignified as possible. It is, it is about being tempted away from unnecessary harm, right? It's like a version of harm reduction in, in a sense, you know, to reduce harm. And so I think like people forget, you know, when I say, I'm going to say it again, when they go low, you go high. And these people are going super, super low. I hope their family is safe. I hope they, you know, remain safe, but I would never wish upon their family what they wish upon, upon Palestinians. And that's the point. How can you wish something malicious on someone else's family that you, God forbid, would never want to happen to yours? May your family be as safe and well-fed as my family. May all of our families be as educated, safe, loved, food, clothed, all of it as the next family over. And that's, that's, that's the overall message is ultimately that is the better message. There is nothing good about advocating for the destruction of a whole population because of who they are, where they were born, 
just the fact that they were born. And that goes for Israelis and Palestinians. Wishing death upon Israelis is undignified and disgusting. Wishing death upon Palestinians is the same. So I don't want to hear none of these people talk about moral high grounds. If either of these groups or anyone in these groups is advocating for the other group to be wiped out, if you're advocating for a whole group to be wiped out, you're part of the problem, period. You're part of the problem, okay? <sighs> Crazy how confident they were just to get on the internet. Gross that these grown adults all claim they're civilized and grown up and you guys can't figure out how to live amongst each other. Figure it out. For the sake of everybody, figure it out. I'm just fine, yet all I do is whine Not to you in my mind, cause I know I don't make sense I've been nothing but blessed So why's my life a mess? Please tell me, cause I'm sick of thinking Yeah, I'm sick of reaching out for the truth And living life as a fool Da 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 da